Okay, so once you have one of your dimensions finally in fixed position, these two are attached firmly, you can start nailing down everything else you need to figure out. So you're no longer stuck with the chicken and egg problem. Where do you start? So we're going to take our ruler, which is going to be an equivalent spacer for the one inch belt strip that wraps around the thigh. And so when we lay it flat, you can see we have less perimeter here than we do to the left and right. But if we take the ruler and we lay it flat, the perimeter at the bottom starts to match the perimeters to the left and the right. And so at this point, we know that we'll have enough room for a belt to slide snugly. And right now I'm pinning it down slightly beyond the stitch because I know I need to be sure that when I punch with the chisel, I'm not hitting the ruler. And so I'm just transferring the very first bit of my holes, right, through my initial cut. So I'm seating the chisel in that cut. There we go. One set. And then from there, you got to ask yourself, well, okay, how worried am I that I'm going to get to the right point and get all the same spacing? Well, you know, you can just measure them all individually. You can come in with a pokey tool and just transfer them one at a time. This works with a thumbtack if you don't have an awl. But ultimately, you just need to know your goal is to end up here. And so I'll just take one generic pokey thing. So while my chisel or whatever I've used to make my first mark is embedded in my wood block, I'll just make a registration mark so I know that I'm going to that line. And then from there, you can use a grease pen or a ruler to just follow that path, right? And so what I'll do is I'll just use my same registration mark. And then we can check and see how close we are to done. Okay, it looks like I need one more slit to match up these seams. And so we can just start stitching. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And hopefully this time time lapse will work. 